Hey friends, welcome back to my homestead. If you're new around here, my name is Becky and today we are gonna be making some banana bread. So this is my absolute favorite banana bread recipe. It's really moist, it doesn't dry out when you bake it and it's got a really rich flavor because this recipe uses brown sugar as opposed to white sugar and so it has a really rich depth of flavor and it's just really, really good. I'm gonna use my stand mixer but it's certainly not necessary to use a stand mixer. First, we are going to mash up two cups of bananas. Now, these were frozen bananas. We don't eat a ton of fruit around here. So what I like to do is buy like four or five bunches of bananas and let them get really, really ripe on my counter. And then I cut them up into pieces and I freeze them to make like banana bread or eat them in smoothies. I'm gonna use a half cup measure because my one cup measure is in my flour and I don't want to get it dirty. I don't always make treats like this, but my husband does like to have a yummy treat. And if I don't make something, then it's usually a store-bought thing. And so I'd rather have us to have a nice homemade item as opposed to store-bought. So again, that is two cups of bananas. And then I'm gonna crack two fresh eggs in here. These are eggs for my chickens. And I'll save the shells. I give the shells back to my girls. And I'm just gonna lightly beat that together. That was just by chance that the bananas were exactly two cups there. And this is a half a cup of softened butter. And then to this, I am gonna add one third cup of sour cream. Now this is homemade sour cream. I made a video on this. You can see how thick it is. I make this every month or so i make two quart jars and it usually lasts us about a month it's so good and rich and it's really really easy to do it's well this isn't going to be a probiotic anymore once i bake it into the banana bread but if you eat it raw you know like top it on like tacos or something it's a probiotic because it's a naturally fermented dairy product so i'm going to give that a light mix so let's go ahead and add the brown sugar. The recipe calls for three fourths cup brown sugar. I think this is one of the reasons why this banana bread is so moist is because it uses brown sugar as opposed to just white sugar because there's the molasses in it that keeps it nice and moist. This is homemade brown sugar. If you wanna know how to make your own homemade brown sugar, I also have a video of that as well. It is the easiest thing to make. It is so much better than the store-bought stuff that dries out on you. I've never had my homemade brown sugar dry out on me. And then I'm gonna add the dry ingredients. I know a lot of recipes say you should like pre-measure your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients and alternate it and blah, 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 blah. I don't do any of that. I'm a pretty low maintenance baker. So I just put everything in a bowl and the less dishes I can do, the better. So because I don't pre-measure the dry ingredients, I usually like to put the flour in and then I'll put the baking soda and kind of mix it in a little bit on top. So that was two cups of white flour. To that, we are gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda. My baking soda I buy in five pound bags, so it tends to clump a little bit. So whenever I use it, I put the baking soda in my hand and I just do that to make it so that it doesn't have the clumps instead of getting out like a sifter or something. And then one fourth teaspoon salt. This is pink Himalayan salt. And you can see how I sprinkle everything and then I just take my measuring spoon and I lightly stir those dry ingredients together. Because once I have the dry ingredients in here, I want to barely mix to combine. And then we're gonna add some homemade vanilla. I should have added this in the wet ingredients, but I forgot, so we'll just add it now. I never measure vanilla. And then we are going to just stir to combine. You can add chocolate chips or walnuts to this, but my husband does not like walnuts. If it was just me, I definitely would add walnuts to this. 
give it a nice little stir, and then we'll do a couple mixes just to make sure all the dry ingredients got mixed off the sides and off the bottom. So I have my loaf pan here. Because this is a dark metal loaf pan, I usually like to turn my oven down 25 degrees so that when it bakes it doesn't get too brown on the sides. I normally use a pastry brush to spread my butter, but I can't find my pastry brush, so I'm just gonna use the butter wrapper. You could make two loaves out of this, but they would be really short. That's what I used to do, but I've found that I prefer just one big loaf. That's another reason why I like to turn the oven down because it takes a good solid hour, hour and 10 minutes to bake this loaf. And so I just wanna make sure it cooks on a low temperature so that it has time to bake the inside of it before the outside gets too dry. And we'll just put this right in here. probably could have melted that butter just a little bit more because I can see that there's little bits of butter in here but the recipe called for just softened butter it didn't call for completely melted butter so I just went with that I'm sure it'll turn out just fine so you can see what I mean that this loaf pan is very very full it tastes good so I have my rack on the middle rack and I'll put my bread in there and I think this is probably gonna take at least 55 minutes, if not like an hour and 15 minutes. So, so I'll see you back when it's looking like it's almost done. So it's actually been about an hour and a half and I think we're getting pretty close to being done. So let's take a look. I've got some toothpicks. That is looking beautiful. So when I push on it, it does feel a little bit firm, but still a little bit soft. And I'm just gonna put a toothpick in, and it's coming out clean. But I have a feeling it could use just maybe three or four, let's say five more minutes, because I don't want it to be soggy or like doughy on the inside. And you know, this could, I like this color brown here, but I think the top could brown just a little bit more, because that's gonna give us that caramelized flavor. So we'll put her back in there and we will give it another five minutes and then I think we'll call it. So it's been about eight minutes or so and it is looking done. I never set timers when I bake. It drives my husband crazy. I'm pretty notorious for doing that. I don't know why, but I just, I, it annoys me to set a timer. And so I do most of my baking by feel and smell. Usually what ends up happening is I'll put something in the oven and then I'll be doing something and then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh no, the brownies, the uh, banana bread whatever I'm baking and I because I can smell it and then I run down and it's usually perfect which I think this is perfect right now so I'm gonna let this cool in the pan for 10 minutes and that way it will kind of shrink away from the sides and hopefully we'll have reduced risk of it sticking to the pan even though we buttered it um, I want to give it the best opportunity for it to come out clean so once it cools for 10 minutes I'll take it out and put it on a cooling rack and when this is cool we'll see if we can get my husband to do a taste test for us. Alrighty we are going to cut into the banana bread. It's been cooling for a couple hours now. It's actually 8 15 and we haven't even eaten dinner yet so we're going to taste this and then we're going to eat mm. dinner. Does it feel moist? It's definitely very moist. Sorry if you hear the dogs in the background. And warm still a little bit which is That's nice. Good. So we'll put some butter on it. I always buy salted butter because it tastes better. All right, that's gonna be good enough for now. Okay. Normally I'd put double the butter, but <laughs> YouTube's since watching. people are watching. <laughs> All right, he's gonna taste it. Tastes good? Oh yeah, very banana-y. <laughs> very moist. Mm -hmm. I use brown sugar instead of white sugar. That's very good. Awesome. Thanks. You're welcome, love you. Me too.